Pulse Blues. Hey, it's Maz Sky the White Chin, and today I'm with Aspire to Inspire to Inspire some aspiring inspirers that inspire aspiring inspires that aspire to inspire. Okay, so I started YouTube when I was in college, I think. Um, yeah, me and my friends were just bored, and we used to just mess around and make like joke videos and stuff. And um, we just uploaded them, and um, one day I was like, ah, oh, this YouTube sh this YouTube stuff's really fun. So um, <clears throat> I made a, a Q and A video, like I called it Ask Maz, and it was like just questions from Twitter. I had like I don't know, like a thousand Twitter followers and shit. And uh, yeah, from there it just kind of took off really. Um, the people that watch my videos, like if there wasn't those people watching my videos, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be motivated at all to be it. I don't know. I'd, I feel like I'd be. I'm making crap videos for anything, like, because there's a lot of crap videos out there. I'm not throwing shades or dropping names or nothing, but there's a lot of shit videos on YouTube out there. Mine included. I have a huge part to play in, like, crap videos on YouTube, but. But the, the, the viewers that watch my stuff are the reason, like, that I always gotta do what I gotta do. Who inspires me? Wow, that's, that's a big question. Um. Let's see. Um, I, I get inspired by people that don't really do, like, I'm not gonna name a YouTuber that inspires me because, like, YouTubers, some YouTubers, like, all the YouTubers that I know, they inspire me, like, we got Sam, Casper, all them lot, like, they, they inspire me massively. But I mainly get inspired by, like, public figures and shit, like, you know, like. Most memorable experience of my career so far is probably. Oh my god, that's so hard to say. It's probably, probably, no, probably me and Sam's tour, actually, the show in in New York. That was our second show. It wasn't our first show. The first show was good, but the second show was so much more comfortable and it was just fun and I was just having a general good time. I wasn't saying I was having a good time before, but like, I was having a good time. I was like, oh my. The thing that I learned from it, I don't know, is that um, the people, like a lot of people that watch my videos, they they get really excited when they meet me. Like, and I learned that like, you have to be patient and like, let them have their moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's hard to explain. Like. Cause you can't just be like, oh hi, yo, what's up? Uh, you know what I mean? Like that's rude and shit. You can't do that. So you have to like let them have the more let sink in. Just think about it. Like imagine you've been watching someone on the internet for so long, and then they're standing fucking in front of you. Like yo, I'm gonna need a selfie. I'm gonna need a picture. I'm gonna need a freaking your number. I'm gonna need your social security number. I'm gonna need your bank account You know what I mean? Like you wanna know everything about them. So yeah, just like be patient with the. With the, with the viewers because they're really sick and they're the music volunteers. But and what would I change in my journey? I think I'd um I'd um what I, I don't think I'd change anything because a lot of things that have happened in my life like have happened because something bad has happened, does that make sense? So something fucked up has happened and because of that like something else has happened, so I can't exactly go back and change everything. Like, I want to do more touring stuff. I like, I really like touring a lot. I don't know why I like, I love it so much. Maybe it's like meeting everyone. Like, everyone's happy on tour, especially me, because it's easy, man. Like, I don't know, like. Sometimes I like regiment, does that make sense? Like in school, you know, on the bell rings and you have to do shit. I kind of like that, like as messed up as that sounds. Like when I'm at home on my own, like I'll go to bed at like 6 a.m., wake up at 2, uh, go eat at a random time. It's like my day isn't scheduled, so like I don't really get the most out of the day. But when you're on tour, like you kind of have to be here at certain points, like you know, when you do meet and greets, you know, you need signings, you know, it's just super cool. And then it's, oh, and people are super nice to you as well. Me or try me, I'll ruin how you feel. You should listen what you hear about me, cause it's probably true. Other things that I do, like hobbies and shit, like, so example, dancing, I always try and like slam dance videos up whenever I can, cause they're always fun to do, and like, they're, people like to watch them, I guess. Um, also, um, back when I was young, I used to do like a lot of music stuff, so like, I'm kind of like starting to sink back into that now as so, I like doing some more music related to shenanigans. 
get ratchet, move yourselves, just go stupid. We came here to party, so go dumb man, just lose it. YouTuber to collab with. I'll probably collab with. I could collab with any YouTuber. There's probably someone that's hot property that's not gonna wanna collab with me. Um, Hey, that, that, that guy off Trap Roulette, you know the Trap Roulette guy? Him. I'd collab with him. 100%. What's some jokes on Trap Roulette? Oh my god. The world would know it here. A music artist, I'd probably collab with Linkin Park. Um, like, I've just put together a band and um, we're like making some stuff right now. And um, yeah, it's like, it's not like what you'd expect me to do kind of thing. It's more like, it's heavier, like, I'm not just like, rapping over some like, crazy, dumb beat, like everyone else. I'm like, oh no, I'm trying to be different, like, so I've got a live band and stuff, and like, we're making some music right now, and um, yeah, so if I can tell everyone, I'll probably make it fun. Don't let the fear of looking stupid ever hold you back. Because if you feel like you want to look stupid, you never want to do anything. I feel like, with anything, like, to get good at something, you need to be shit, you know? Like, you're not gonna get good unless you're shit, you know? Like, people aren't just born good singers. People aren't just born good dancers, you know? Like, that's that sort of thing takes practice. And anyone that's like, oh, I'm self-taught, yeah, that still means you practiced, you know? You still practice to get that good, like, and for a certain amount of time, you will probably, like, fucking shit, like. So, it's the same with anything, like, everything I've ever done, Ever, like where people say, Oh man, you're so talented. I'm thinking, Yeah, because I worked flipping hard. Like, so like, when people tell me I'm a good dancer, I'm like, Oh, thank you. Freaking worked hard to get, like, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, it's the same with anything. This takes practice, and I mean, like, and uh, it's and it's about like, if you, if you let people judge, like, you, like, if, you, if you're scared to put something out because you feel like you're gonna look like an idiot. Then you need to kind of like rethink like why you're doing it, like you know, like because there's doing things for other people, and that's when you can kind of get scared. Like it's okay to get scared, like when you feel like someone's feel like someone's judging you, because like I feel like all the time, like I've uploaded videos, I'm not looked at the comments because I thought, oh shit, what am I gonna say, like you know? And like for three days, I haven't looked at the comments because I'm scared to do it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like, but yeah. With that being said, like just don't let it hold you back. If you wanna be Beyonce, go and be Beyonce, you know what I mean? Like been up all night and tweet until my eyes are red. I swear I'm just a creep. Okay, music playlist. We have oh my god. Um Okay. Drake trophies. Um Slipknot. Uh Eyeless. Um Eggs on the Third Floor by Action Bronson. We have We have Fuck'em by Rick Ross, the good old Rick Ross. Um, Flawless by Beyonce, of course. From Time by Drake. Uh, Guild by Old Sweatshirt, and Matt Miller. Um, we have uh, a little, uh, Heartbreaker, What's Happening, and Confident by Justin Bieber. Um, I Fucking Hate You by Tyler the Creator. Uh, <laughs> these are actual songs, by the way. Um, Sunday by Old Sweatshirt, very good song. Frank Ocean Lost, Street Gucci. Um, and NY, Ned Flander by uh, Odd Future, very good song. Uh, Partition by Beyonce, obviously. Uh, and his place is almost done, skipping all the crappy songs. Oh, Cycle Social by Slipknot, that's a good song. Uh, Recovery by Justin Bieber, amazing tune. Rusty, Tyler Creator, amazing song. Sasquatch by L, Sweatshirt, amazing tune. Uh, Force by El Spectre, good song. What I Might Do by Ben Pierce. Freaking shoot. What song will I have to be the soundtrack of my life? Probably be um, Yellow by Coldplay. I don't know, because I feel like I'm a hopeless romantic. It's actually a really good song too. I want, that's a good theme tune. If you're gonna have a theme tune for your life, you gotta choose something by Coldplay. I think. I love this beat so much. Biggest dreams? 
I want to do what Beyonce is doing. This is hella fun. If you don't know, we're at the O2 Arena and Beyonce is about to go on stage in front of a fuckload of people. And I want to do that. That would be cool one day. Imagine that. Like, she makes people feel some type of way. Like, she walks on stage, people start screaming and stuff. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah, they do that, but like, look how many people do it. It's crazy, because when it happens to me, like, I don't really see it, it doesn't sink in. Like, it's like, okay, someone's screaming in my face, okay, this is awesome, whatever. I watch it back, I'm like, whoa, these guys are screaming, like, they're going crazy. But when I see someone else, like Beyonce, how someone's crying and shit, and it's just like, wow. That's awesome. She's made someone feel like she's just by looking at them, she's made their day, you know what I mean? Like Imagine that, imagine if like that's like God looking at you. What's up? Ooh, turn up, you know what I mean? Because snakes and dogs. No. I don't see that. And not being good enough. I hate not being good enough. That's annoying. Always failing missions. Of the year, um, I think I'm just gonna do the YouTube videos, and um, I'm gonna be releasing an EP with my band. Um, we're not sure what the EP is called yet, but we've written like the most of the songs. Um, well, no, I'm excited to release that. We're gonna film the music videos and stuff. It should be pretty tight. Uh, I'm excited for that mainly. That's the main project I'm focusing on right now, though, which is kind of scary because I've never done anything like that before. Like. I've done music stuff before, like I released like a little mixtape and stuff, but I've never done anything to that extent, so it should be interesting to see like how my viewers take it. Thanks for watching this video, you can see more of me over at my channel, it is www.youtube.com forward slash the Mazzy Maz with two Z's and an I.